Passionate during post-game chats, Northport coach Pito Gerencio painted a stark contrast of who he usually is on Wednesday night. Speaking to reporters on his way out of the Big Dome, the Batang Pier mentor unloaded a couple of terse lines after his team narrowly lost to the Phoenix Pulse, 96-98, in the resumption of the PBA Philippine Cup action. Referees don't decide the game, he said. Let the players win the game and lose the game. Dot last one minute then you call offensive foul? And in the video, it's so clear that there was none. Dot an offensive foul was called on Senator Anthony just as he was landing from his jump, shot that would have put Northport ahead by three with 47 seconds left. Phoenix's Justin Chua was apparently hit by Anthony's hand. I am the next sequence, Fuel Masters gunslinger Matthew Wright was called for a charge for pulling Ryan Arana's jersey on his way to the basket. The latter fouled Jason Perkins in the next possession which led to two made shots from the charity stripe enough for the Phoenix victory. It's a lose-lose situation, so I'd rather not comment on it. I'm trusting the PBA office to look into it. I got to reserve my comment because nothing I can say can change anything and I don't want to get in trouble," Anthony told the press. Wright couldn't help but feel for how such a call nearly decided the outcome of the game. It was ugly. I honestly felt we deserved to lose that game," he said. I didn't see a foul when Sean Anthony hit the shot. I guess when they called a foul on me, that was a makeup call. But I feel like it was a very strange game, very inconsistent. But someone had to win, and I'm just happy that we were lucky enough to win this game even without Stanley Pringle playing," he added. Both Wright and Anthony felt that their respective teams could have made more effort to carve out a convincing win. Highly disappointing but put that aside, we had chances to pull away," Anthony closed.